Continuing from the last video where I introduced you to Mahara, I just wanted to take you through a couple of other features which you will need to know about. So I've logged into Mahara already. I'm looking at the portfolio. So I'm looking up the page that I had shared. Um, and so here I've got my, my notes. This is a, um, a note. I've got an image. And I've also brought in notes for my references as well. What I wanted to do was edit this page. So I'm going to click on Edit Page up at the top here. And I wanted to just run through how journals work. So you can display single entries on journals. And but what I want to do is just show you how to add in a journal to in, uh, display an entire journal within this. So when you drop this in, I've actually already got a journal created. So I can click on this and accept that and save that in. And that will bring up the entries that I've, I've made in this journal. And what's great about this is I can add an entry directly from here. And so I can add in week three and add in my content here. I do put work on. And then I can save that entry. And that will automatically update on my main page. So now if I, I can actually add different entries in there. Um, but if I go back to my, if I go back to pages, and find my page I was working on, I can see that that's updated here. OK, the final thing I want to show you is exporting your work from Mahara. Now again, if I go to my portfolio, I can click on my page here. Uh, I can see this, and it's shared, so other people can see it as well. But what I really want to do is to package this up so I can, first of all, keep it for myself for later use, and also to submit it to Moodle for my assessment. So. I need to go back on this, and what you can see here, under Portfolio, we have this tab called Export. And from there, I can export a standalone HTML website, or I can export everything from this in a leap to a standard, which will allow me to have all the work that I've done through Mahara. But what I want to do is just export some of my pages. Now, you may have put your work into collections, but I just want to export some of my pages. And so what I'm going to do is just select this one here, and I can generate export. And what that will do is it will create that as a zip file. If I show that in the Finder, I can open that up. And then this really allows me to submit my work. It's got my name on the top of the portfolio. And when I look at this, I should be able to open it directly into my browser. When it opens, it may have opened behind, yes. And that's a, a duplicate of what my work was. So that's really the end product and the way we're going to submit the work from Mahara into the Moodle assessment system. So you can actually work with collections. If you've made more than one um, page for this, you can create a new collection. And I can add a title for that. And I can then click Next, edit which pages I want to have in there. So I can click, click on a selection of these. Um, this is going to be example pages. And add those pages in. So this is going to be what's made up within my work. And then I can click, done, click on Done. When I go to Export Now, and I say Export some of my collections, I can then select that, generate the export, and again, when that comes out, I should be able to show that in the Finder. So when I open this, I can then see each of these pages within that. Um, so do try and name them in a, in a sensible way. So I've got a list of the pages for this collection. Um, make it obvious which ones I can get to and which ones I, I need to look at. Um, so that's exporting from Mahara. And so you use the Portfolio tab and click on Export. And then you can save your work out, and that can be submitted as your final report.